All right, here we go. Band gang, Lonnie Bands. What's good? What up, though? Hey, man, listen, uh, I've been seeing the whole movement that you guys are doing out there in Detroit, man. Like, uh, I'm fucking with it. Oh, my nigga, you fucking with it. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, the whole, because it's not just you. There's, you know, different members, and it feels like a movement. You know yeah, what I'm saying? There's different styles, everything. Yeah, yeah, congrats, man. You guys have definitely, you know, reached a level that a lot of people never reach. Appreciate it. No doubt. Now, you grew up in Detroit. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what was what was it like growing up in Detroit? How would you describe it? Like, growing up, it was fun. Like, like it wasn't no guns involved, everybody fighting. It was fun. Like, our parents had money when we was kids, so it was fun. Okay. Like, growing up. Like, when I actually, like, got grown a little bit, it got tricky. But growing up, it was fun. Okay. Now, I mean, you talked about selling weed, what, like in high school? Yeah. Yeah, man. In high school, man. Okay. And, and what was interesting about your story is that you were selling weed for like a year and a half, but never smoked <laughs> it. And then you started smoking it after you were selling it for like a year and a half, and now you smoke Bro, it. Bro, how do all you time. know this? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know this? <laughs> yeah, it for sure. Because I used to smoke weed. I used to be the one to talk about everybody smoking weed, call them crackheads and shit, and I started smoking weed. How do you keep selling it and you just never want to try it ever? Because it was just like, why would I sell it and I'm trying it? That's why I stopped selling weed. Okay, so once you start smoking it, then you stop selling. It's really like it ain't no point is uh, selling it no more because I'm smoking too much. Then I start rapping a lot, so I start really smoking a lot. So you stop. Like, at what point did you realize that you smoked too too much weed to actually sell it? Man, when I just start just smoking constantly, like like go to the store and grab the whole box of backwoods, not the pack, <laughs> just the whole box. Then find myself giving people just weed. Like, I just got to keep smoking and shit. There ain't no point in selling it. I got to just smoke it. Yeah, I always thought selling weed was a lame hustle. No, if you got a lot of it, it ain't. Yeah, I mean, if you if you try to be a kingpin with it. Or if you, ain't general, gonna, if you don't smoke, it's an excellent hustle because you're, you're going to see all your money. Yeah, I mean, I guess now I live in Cali and you got legal weed, so... And people are still selling like illegal weed when there's actual stores you can walk into. Yeah, but those stores weak as hell though. You think? Yeah, weak as hell. Like, yeah, in California some stores might be good, but then it'd be like, what you gonna do when you need weed at twelve o'clock at night, three o'clock in the morning? Ain't none of them shops open. Some of them are. Some of them actually deliver like twenty four hours. See, but that delivery shit that's gonna break your pockets. They be charging fifty dollar delivery fee, and like that's more than a weed. Yeah, I mean, if you want weed at 2.30 a.m., then, you know, so why you, you pay just go you take your ass right to the block, Vlad? You in L.A., ain't you? Right. You go I'm right in Calabasas. To... There is no oh, block. Oh, you in Calabasas. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you too rich for me. You in I Calabasas. Have no block. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I got a bitch in Calabasas. Nah. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to tell okay. her pull up I... on you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> I'm going to tell her pull up on you. Yeah. I got a girl in Calabasas. I'm going to tell her pull up on you. There you go. 